pray to the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Shepherds, 
three parts when you don't tell us at that time, there are people who are regarded as poor. Even there are witnesses who do not accept it. Amen. So look at the shepherd at that time. They were sleeping there in the where they, where they keep the sheep, where the cattle. Isn't it? Sometimes it would smell like the cattle. Okay? So these are the poor, the anawim, the remnants. Okay? Who move? Angels were sent from heaven to come and tell them. They took off. Where did they? When they went there after they followed Mary, the man of Jesus, and they made the line there, Jesus was there, and they followed those animals there also. And the other people are there also. They focus on some things because they have been it. Now, the same, same place, according to the gospel of today, which is uh, the feast of the Magi. So much as for the magic or white men or kings. Of course, we know in the gospel of Mary that kings. Why you call the people traditionally have been called kings? Because Prophet Isaiah in his prophet he said that the kings will come with the gifts of gold and frankincense, which you have had today in the past week. That's why they are called kings. Now, 
when you bring those gifts of yours, you bring five cents gold and bar. You have gone, you have come a very long journey. You have reached places, meeting enemies and so on, different uh, weather and so on. Okay, you have missed to be the hands of uh, a demon called Herod who wanted to destroy your plans in life. <laughs> but you, you, you persisted on pursuing your, your vision. Okay, thanks be to God, you managed to come out with the clutches. <laughs> because uh, Herod, the palace of Herod, was a place of temptation for these, these kings or these wives. They were going to lose their vision. So you also find out in, in the course of this year what are the places that will make you lose your vision? Be a wife. <laughs> or if you happen to land there accidentally, accidentally, then you very fast run away. The moment you come to the wrong place, run away. So the magi, they, they follow this time. They start the night. Christ is the night that gives us the night. Because in John, the gospel of John, says, Whoever follows me, I'm the light of the world, and whoever follows me will not walk in darkness. And they are sure enough to play with this life, to live in it, a light of time. Therefore, yeah, Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And we know that. So we find a lot of uh, scriptures telling you that. So the magi followed the light of the star. And so far as they are following the light of the star, they are on the right track. Once they lost the star, they were on the hands of the enemy. And the enemy tried his best to take advantage of them. In fact, Herod would have wiped him there, but because he thought, no, let them go so that they bring me information. I go, I change them, I go to watch the child, but I go to kill the child. It's because Herod had the chance of killing the child, that's why he released them to go. God is good. Uh, some things people might intend bad things for you, but God will turn them around. Okay? And there will be, uh, uh, there will be advantages for you. That your enemies should suffer or become sin. Pray that your enemies may live long to see what the Lord can do for you. Amen. Otherwise, you are destroying your testimony when you pray for enemies to die. <laughs> <laughs> they must follow the star, continue. So, be careful. So, the Herod's place, Herod is filled with the enemy, jealous, and other kings being born. So, be aware of this. For us, we are carrying those things in the heart. We cannot have peace. It's impossible to have peace. The peace that Christ gave us. The joy that He said, the joy that I give you, no one can take it from me. No one can have it. We are missing out of that joy, that peace, because of covering, envy, jealousy, like hell. So be aware. Nobody is an expert. We only sometimes are filled with these things. But you have to make an effort to overcome them. And it's important, it's difficult to be healthy, to be happy, to rejoice, even to smile, so far as you're carrying these things. If you are able, if you are carrying things like never was there at that particular moment, when he met the two wise men, told him, I'm coming to know the king. And it's this, you know, saying that he became nervous. Maybe I'm going to risk my king, and so on. If you are covering jealousy, anything, you're feeling anger. Nationalities, races, tribes. Okay. 
became a literally literate boy. One, one of them. That's why we say Christ himself is in the past of the equalizer. It's in the past of In the Christ we are told, you see, we can't proceed. When we see Holy Communion, the chemical composition of the, of the consecrated the most is the same. So, what we good we have in our culture when we follow the on the feast of the Christian Christian. What the good we have in our culture is bring it forward. Okay? To enhance our devotion uh, to Christianity. The bad things that we know that are against the gospel, we leave them out. And let us abandon them. Amen? Because there are some Christian scholars who start defending things that are evil in their cultures. Okay? So we wonder how are they Christians? See, when the three Magi started off their journey, they were not Christians. But by the time they are going back, they were Christians. Why? Because they encountered Christ. Amen? Yes. They were pagans, but they went back Christians. The Ethiopian Yunak who went for pilgrimage to Jerusalem, he was a pagan. When he went back, he was a Christian. And he brought Christianity in the world. Amen? So, let us learn from that. The wedding, there's a lot of parallels between the Epiphany and the baptism of our Lord. Now, tomorrow is the feast of baptism of our Lord. Okay, and it's the end of the Italian the season of the Christmas time and the beginning of ordinary season. Ordinary season begins tomorrow with baptism. Okay. So, there are a lot of parallels. So, one of them is that both in baptism and in the Epiphany. That is The, the bride and the bridegroom at the wedding at Cana, they were not having a Christian wedding, no, because it's just their cultural, traditional wedding. But the moment they invited Christ in their lives, they became a Christian marriage, sacrament of matrimony. That is a, a sacrament of matrimony. If you knew their names, by now many children will have a Show us that every one of us we need to invite Christ in our hearts. Okay? We do not need to have gold, very expensive for things to offer, but offer yourself. We may have many things, but we may offer many things, material possessions and so on. And so, but if we forget our hearts, then you have missed the point. That's why uh, when you go on the prayer cell there, you will hear one saying that it's so not be from uh, gold, uh, man. But because of our faith in Christ, we are offering Him offer Himself as a sacrificial victim for us. So, gold. Gold is a precious metal that has been used for making jewelry, ornaments, currency, money, okay, sculpture throughout human history because of its color and its shapes. That's gold. And everybody wants gold. When they go for athletics for competition, they are not being gold. Frankincense is an expensive fragrance or perfume made from a very special tree which you find in Asia, even in Africa, in Ethiopia, so okay. even here we have also friends. You have seen that when you have mass, we use incense. That's part of the It's a type of incense. Ma, this is this one you can go to me. Fluid. That means you can use a red coin for 
vase of water and also can, it's also used to preserve the dead body. So, all these three gifts are very symbolic. Gold, okay, represents the divinity of Christ. That he is God. Even though his life is there, he has become human. He was God. That's God. Then the fragment says, sorry, uh, Frank said to me, that you are serving God. God represents reality as a king. There are kings who are good. So when you want gold, go and check in the palace. Okay? If you want to take control of money, then you go to the set house. Because they can order printing of money. So, the thing is that gold represents reality, kingship. Amen? God is God. Get to me clear, okay? Gold represents reality, kingship. Jesus came from the royal land of David. And so the prophets not to him. Amen? So, by that, he has raised up all to become children of King of, of, of God our Father. We are princes. Okay? We are not slaves in the name of the cross of Christ. Then now, Frank says, this one represents the divinity. Okay? He represents the divinity as God. Then the man, which represents his humanity. Because his died, his body, Jesus was killed and crucified. Then, as we hear the gospel during the passion of Christ, his body was, they applied the oil to it. was made for preservation, to preserve them, to hide the body of Christ. Remember that women are going with the oil prints very early in the morning? Yes, but found him in So, the Jews had the practice of anointing the body. So, this represents his redemptive death. That's why we say that uh, Christmas. Is, is the Christmas in, in, in includes the passion of Christ as well, the redemptive act of Christ. The, the gospel is the infantility of Matthew chapter 1 and 2, Luke chapter 1 and 2. The infantility is a gospel in a nutshell, in a miniature. That means you can read the whole gospel in these first two chapters of Luke and, and the Matthew. The whole gospel is there. The suffering of Christ is there. The rejection is rejected by. There are people and Jews in Jerusalem, they rejected him. Rejection is there. And along public ministry, he will be rejected by some people. Samaritans will reject him. And he will say, let us move on, and so on. Amen. So everything that happens in the public ministry of Christ, and in his death and resurrection, is his death. That's why Christmas is part and parcel of our salvation. Okay. So when we celebrate Christmas, we are going to move that there is no resurrection, no, it's there. It is a gospel in the nutshell. See, in other words, foreshadowing the redemptive death of Jesus Christ. The death of Jesus Christ. So, let us also be or offer the Lord what is pleasing to Him with all our hearts. And in offering, in any type of offering we make, let us not forget to offer ourselves. Okay? So, the very consecration you have made us. I finish the Rizalah. To carry on the devotion of the Magi, please take the, the, the prayer so it's called a box one by the prayer network. Pray it is also 23. And at least say the prayer every month for the Pope. This month, January, the Pope. This month, January, the Pope. February, 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 about your devotions. Okay, make use of the liturgical calendar which you have had today. Thanks for the other person. It is it is reminding us let us make use of this liturgical feast. For example, before the feast of 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 preservation on second February. Make a novella nine days before that day. Do the feast of novella on first of February. And in that novella write that your petitions Yes. Before the feast of Saint Joseph, make a novena, feast of an solemnity of annunciation. Okay? Let it let it let it sell a 40 days be a novena in itself. That will be something on daily basis. Amen. Then the feast of divine mercy, which begins on Good Friday, begin that novena of divine mercy. And it's our role as religious to pray for conversion of sin.
Oh, my God. 